Welcome back, fellow history enthusiasts. In today's captivating episode, we embark on an extraordinary journey through time to explore the enigmatic origins, family, and generations of an intriguing historical figure, Lot. Join me as we uncover the secrets and unravel the mysteries surrounding this enigmatic character from ancient times. Let's dive right in. The Origins of Lot Lot's story begins in the ancient city of Ur, nestled in Mesopotamia. Born into a wealthy and influential family, Lot's origins trace back to the time of the Sumerians, one of the earliest civilizations in human history. After the death of Haram, Lot's father, he lived with his grandfather Terah, his uncle Abraham, and Sarah, Abraham's wife. One day, God spoke to Abraham and commanded him to leave his homeland and journey to a land that God would show him. God promised to bless Abraham and make him the father of great nations. Without hesitation, Abraham obeyed God's command and set out on this journey, taking his family and his nephew Lot with him. Abraham and Lot with their family traveled through various lands, facing challenges and trials along the way. Eventually, they arrived in the land of Canaan, which God had promised to give to Abraham's descendants. However, a severe famine struck the land, forcing Abraham, Lot and their family to temporarily seek refuge in Egypt. The Separation Abraham and Lot with their family returned from Egypt, arriving Canaan, both Abraham and Lot had acquired more wealth, which led to conflicts between their herdsmen. As their flocks and herds grew, the land could no longer sustain both Abraham and his nephew Lot's livestock. Strife arose between their herdsmen, and Abraham decided it was time to separate. Abraham generously offered Lot the first choice of land. Lot chose the fertile plains of the Jordan River, which were well watered and lush. Abraham, on the other hand, settled in the land of Canaan, which was less fertile but still part of the promised land. Lot eventually settled in the wicked city of Sodom, while Abraham remained faithful to God and continued to worship him. The ancient city of Sodom, known for its wickedness and immorality. Lot, a righteous man, had chosen to settle there, despite the city's reputation. Unfortunately, this decision would soon lead to his capture. Lot Captivity Lot's captors were a coalition of four powerful kings from the east, who waged war against Sodom and its neighboring cities, including Gomorrah. The king successfully overpowered the cities, looting their treasures and taking their inhabitants as captives. Among them was Lot, who found himself imprisoned and separated from his family. News of Lot's capture reached Abraham, who was living in the region of Mamre. Upon learning of his nephew's plight, Abraham wasted no time in assembling a small but mighty force of his own loyal men. Determined to rescue Lot, he embarked on a daring mission to confront the powerful kings and free his kin. Abraham's Heroic Rescue Guided by divine intervention, Abraham and his men pursued the captors, eventually catching up to them near the city of Dan. In a strategic and unexpected nighttime attack, Abraham's forces overwhelmed the unsuspecting enemy, freeing Lot and the other captives. The victory was not only a testament to Abraham's courage but also a display of God's favor upon him. Abraham's faith and unwavering determination to rescue his nephew had been rewarded with a miraculous triumph against seemingly insurmountable odds. Following the rescue, Abraham was met by Melchizedek, the priest-king of Salem, who blessed him and acknowledged the divine assistance he had received. Abraham, in turn, offered a tithe of the spoils of war to Melchizedek recognizing the significance of the encounter. Upon Lot's rescue, Lot returned to the city of Sodom. However, the wickedness of the city continued, and God ultimately destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot and his daughters were spared from the destruction, but his wife, who had looked back at the city against God's command, turned into a pillar of salt. The Destruction of Sodom Sodom, a city known for its extreme wickedness and depravity. Its inhabitants had turned away from righteousness and embraced immorality, greed, and violence. The cries of the oppressed reached the heavens, and God, in His divine justice, decided to intervene. Abraham, a righteous man who had a close relationship with God, was informed of the impending destruction. Concerned for his nephew Lot, 
who resided in Sodom, Abraham boldly approached God and pleaded for mercy. Recognizing Abraham's faith and compassion, God agreed that if even ten righteous people could be found in the city, he would spare it. As the story unfolds, two angels disguised as men arrived in Sodom to assess the situation. Lot, recognizing their divine nature, welcomed them into his home. However, the wicked men of the city surrounded Lot's house, demanding that the angels be handed over to them for their perverse desires. Lot, desperate to protect his guests, offered his own daughters instead, but the angels intervened, striking the crowd with blindness. Understanding the gravity of the situation, the angels urged Lot and his family to flee the city immediately, as God's judgment was imminent. In the early morning, the angels led Lot, his wife, and their two daughters out of Sodom, warning them not to look back. Sadly, Lot's wife disobeyed and, consumed by her attachment to the sinful city, was turned into a pillar of salt. As Lot and his daughters watch A.D. from a safe distance, God rained down fire and brimstone upon Sodom and Gomorrah, obliterating the cities and their wicked inhabitants. The destruction was absolute, a stark reminder of the consequences of turning away from God's righteousness. As Lot and his daughters fled, they seek refuge in the city of Zor. A Sinister Twist The Daughter's Plan In an unexpected turn of events, Lot's daughters find themselves in a desperate situation. Convinced that they are the last people on earth, they devise a controversial plan to continue their family line. Lot's daughters got him drunk on two consecutive nights and had sexual relations with him, resulting in their pregnancies. This act is described in the book of Genesis. Lot's two daughters gave birth to two sons. The older daughter named her son Moab, and he became the ancestor of the Moabite people. The younger daughter named her son Ben-Ami, who became the ancestor of the Ammonite people. The descendants of Moab and Ben-Ami are traced in the Bible through various genealogies and historical records. Lot's story is a complex one, filled with both moments of faith and moments of weakness. He was a man who was caught in extraordinary circumstances, forced to make difficult choices under immense pressure. His legacy is a reminder of the human capacity for both good and evil, and the importance of making choices that align with our values, even when faced with challenging situations. Furthermore, Lot's rescue demonstrates the importance of heeding God's warnings and not being attached to the sinful ways of the world. It serves as a reminder that salvation lies in following God's commands and trusting in His divine guidance. Conclusion The Story of Captivating Tale of Survival, Redemption, and the Intricacies of Human Nature It challenges us to question our own moral compass and wrestle with the complexities of biblical narratives. Join us on this thought-provoking journey as we uncover the untold story of Lot and his daughters, an epic tale that continues to resonate throughout history. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating historical content. Until next time, stay curious and keep EXP.